Great, she's here. Battle me. MC, would you care for a battle? Yes. I'll show you the strength of cuteness all over again. Yeah. She's here. We're getting right into it. I'm not waiting another eight days for her to show up. Literally. I checked pretty much every day. I may have missed one for eight days. And she never showed up until now. Whims of Cotton, Reb of Room for me. Or Petcherunt against Whims of Cotton. And Gramble with my Rev of Room. This is the first time I'm using Petra Run. I've never used it. There's a freaking first time for everything. All right. How about we spin out on Gramble? Light screen. I hope that doesn't help you. Not really. By a sliver? Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Focus Sash, that's why. Did it still get poisoned at this point? Mm, nope. Spin out, dang. Didn't kill it. Of course you would do that to River Vroom. That's why you should have died first, actually. Man, I hate that scramble. It's too strong. All right, let's go to Skarmory. Skarmory could kill it. All right, so how about we... Could that hit both? No, it wouldn't. Hit Whimsicott. Do Metal Claw and Gramble. Moonblast? That didn't do anything. Except for lower our special attack. Venom Shock does double the damage when the Pokemon is poisoned. So I should not be leading with Venom Shock. That's a mistake on my part. Metal Claw, please kill it. Thank you. Please raise your attack while you're at it, Skarmory. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. Come on. Raise your attack. It did not raise its attack. All right. The slow bro. And Primarina. Let's see. I think I should... Focus on Slowbro first. Spikes. Oh, I can't use... Because I put the... Okay. Well, that's the case. Gang up on Slowbro. That's all you do? I mean, I know your special attack is lower, but still, at the same time. Uh oh. That wasn't good. This also isn't good. Boo! Alright, if that's the case, how about we... Yeah. He'll get powered up by the two that are defeated right now. All right, how do we want to do this? Toe cleave. Never misses. And how about... Keep with the Metal Claw. We'll get that attack boost someday. Actually, we won't. Oh, there it is. Thank you for holding on, King Gambit. All right, slow bros down. I was mainly worried about that because of Petron, but how oh, creamy! Wait, yes, Iron Head and Metal Claw. It might not live for too long, but at least it won't be weak and it won't be it won't be weak to a moon blast. So that was the problem last turn.
Come on, raise your attack again. Decorate. Uh oh. That's not good. It did that much damage to steel types? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Hyper voice, a normal attack. Normal attacks don't do that much damage to steel types. It like doesn't allow it. Throat spray? Oh, screw you and your throat spray. Hey, don't you be healing up. And the light screen wore off. I'm not liking my chances right now. It's not the best that it could be. All right, flash cannon. I think we got to aim at Primarina. I really wish I did more. Nice crit. Stop decorating. It's doing way too much damage, and it knows it. That, it got a crit. That's the one thing I didn't need was a crit. You knock it off, Alcremie. All right, let's do it this way. Flash cannon, bullet punch. All right, Flash Cannon should be hitting out Creamy now. And then she should only be left with the one. Which will still be part of a problem, but I can still... I can handle an extra drill. I don't mind if you push me hard. I'll push back just as hard to beat you. Really, why is she somehow the hardest one for me to deal with? Out of everybody that I battled. I'll still handle her. Especially since she's turning fairy type and we got just steel moves lined up. Here, have a great big terrestrial heart. I'll sh share this cuteness with you. Yeah, it's going down. It's going down for real. This bullet punch will be a saving grace. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect it to kill it. It's because of Technician. Also, I have a metal coat on, so it also boosts the attack power of steel side moves. So, Caesar's bullet punch is actually just a really, really stacked attack with everything that I have on it. Yeah, I didn't randomize my team. I just straight up picked it this time. Oh, all the Pokemon were simply adorable. Don't you agree? Yeah, I figure since I lost, I can just free pick. So now I won. You're strong as ever, and oh so cute. You've given me so many adorable memories to cherish that I want to give you something back. How about one of the smartphone cases we made in the Thief Club? We received the blueberry case white from Lacey. Feel free to put it on your phone if you like it. I might give it a try. Maybe the blueberry designs that you have on a white case will have a nice aesthetic look. I'll be real, I kind of like black already more and I've had black. All right, so we got Poplio outbreak happening right here, right now. And I have a lot of, wait, there we go. A lot of BBQ quests I need to do, especially get more BP in order to invite the coaches. Because I got to invite everybody two more times before I can really get to Gita and, and things off. But yeah, as of now, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a picnic and... Try to shiny hunt for a Poplio. If that doesn't work out, I'll move somewhere else. I'm going to keep going until the outbreak is done, essentially. But, uh, yeah. I'm also going to be editing something while doing this, so I'm going to be pulling double duty of not talking and just fighting off Poplio while waiting for a shiny one to pop up. So, yeah. Let's get to that. And if 
basically you see nothing happen, that means I didn't find a shiny at all. That simple. Only I'll be wasting time. There goes our water boost. We got a shiny already? I just freaking started. What the heck? Let's get it. Come on, please get caught easily. Seriously, this is much faster than I ever anticipated. I just looked down and I saw the pink and I was like, that doesn't seem right. Because it wasn't. Top heel, get caught. That's a catch. Yes! We got a shiny Poplio. Who would have thunk it? Especially within like a minute of shiny hunting. Is my shiny karma being restored? <gasps> Finally. Feels like it's been so long. Also, we are dropping frames like crazy over here. Am I gonna keep dropping frames every single time I send out a Pokemon to battle here? Because this is kinda unbearable. All right, no other shinies. Now I'm gonna go do my own thing of getting more BP because I gotta get a lot of it. How much BP do I need? I need 4,700 BP to invite everybody twice, with the exception of Gita. Wait, no. 4,800. I gotta invite Hassle three times. So yeah, so invite everybody the amount of times I need. I need to do six times the amount of BP I have. But I just remember there's one other thing I have to do first. Boom. I need this right now. Dang, I was able to join. Gotta wait for it to refresh. Now, does that person have a Pikachu with a ash hat on? Well, I never fainted, but that was a failure. Seriously? There's four for Sandy Shocks, not a single one for Iron Thorns. Come on. There we go. I'm all ready. Let's try this again. Shall we? Dude, you just helped it. Why would you help it?
crit? Really? A crit? I terrorize and you crit? Everybody requires me mad at me. Kind of deservedly so in a way. In a way. Honestly, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have lost like that. That was ridiculous. I don't even have my Pokemon out. You know what? Go in a Premier Ball. Just because, technically, in a way, I'm not supposed to have you under my trainer right now. Because you're in Violet. And this is Scarlet. Which is the whole reason why I'm going for you right now. Because I can't get you in this game mode. But, yay! We got Iron Thorns. I don't even know what Iron Thorns is type-wise. Iron Thorns, Paradox Pokemon, Rock Electric type, that makes sense. Height, 5 foot 3, weight 668 pounds. It has some similarities to a Pokemon introduced in a dubious magazine as Tyranitar from 1 billion years into the future. Okay. Glad to have you, Iron Thorns. You know what I should do right now? I should really evolve Poplio. And also level up Poplio and Iron Thorns. Here we go. First evolution. What? Poplio is evolving? Congratulations, your Poplio evolved into Rione. This is how you say it, right? Rione, pop star Pokemon. I didn't have this yet. Water type, height, two feet, weight 38.6 pounds. A skillful dancer, it creates a sequence of water balloons as it dances, then briskly bombards its enemies. Sounds kind of harsh. Of course, now we're going for Primarina. What? Rione is evolving. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm not going to be saying it for long. It's blonde! Huh. Primarina, soloist Pokemon, water fairy type height, 5 foot 11, weight 97 pounds. To Primarina, every battle is a stage. It takes down its prey with beautiful singing and dancing. And once learned sparkling aria. What did I do? Any Pokemon suffering from a burn will be cured by the touch of these bubbles. Why would you want to heal another Pokemon of its burn? I'll get rid of Misty Terrain. What ability do you have and what ability could you have? Okay, so it has Torrent, but it could also have the ability Liquid Voice. All sound-based moves become Water-type moves. That's how a Hyper Voice didn't have the not very effective when we were battling it because it was no wait I don't even know that's true we were battling Lacey did it have liquid voice I really don't know you know what let's finish leveling it up and then I'll see about what moves it can learn wait so even disarming boys could turn a water type but what if you want it to be fairy then it becomes counterintuitive hold up a second misty explosion the user attacks everything around it and faints upon using this move this move's power is boosted on Misty Terrain. Why does it have five power points if you faint the moment you use it? And it only does 100 power. Who wants this? I'm sure there's a strategy, but still. Trash. To be honest, after looking at all these moves, there's nothing that I really want to teach it. I mean, a luring voice I could possibly do, because if I would want it to stay fairy type, but no, it's going to be changing to water. Because no matter what, I am changing that ability. Whoa! Whoa! How are you just chilling out here? I mean, yes! But how are you just chilling out here? I wasn't even looking for you. I just flew past you and I saw blue. Glad I didn't cut yet. I was like, maybe I'll go catch a picture of a Pokemon swimming for a BBQ and end the recording and then do all the 
BBQ accomplishments off screen, but no. I messed around and caught you. But now I need to get more candy so I can get you up to level. Like, holy crap, you don't even go for it and it's just sitting there. It's like that Venonat or Venomoth after I've eaten Kieran. Not mad at this recording session, but it's definitely strange that I actually found two shinies. So I just had to quit out of the game because uh, I messed up with talking to him. He doesn't try to get right to a battle. This counts as his second invite. Can't express how pleased I am to have this opportunity to teach at another school. Although I wonder, what does this academy need of me? Am I here in my uh, capacity as an art instructor or as a member of the Elite Four? Uh, Elite Four member. Ah, I should have known. That would explain the lukewarm reaction I got when I held an art lecture. You know, I've heard that Blueberry Academy places a strong emphasis on the study of practice of Pokemon battles. I think that for my next lecture, I'll invite Professor Gibble to do a little bit, to do something a little bit more hands-on. Thank you for your input. Is that it for the second? Oh, here we go. Say, young MC, would you be willing to have a battle with me? Yes, please. Battle me. I'm excited to learn just how strong you become. That's what I wanted was the battle. So wait, does this count as his second invitation or still the first since I didn't beat him the first time? Crap, I sent out the wrong one first. Uh... How about we do this? I wish I remembered that he sent out Duraludon first. I wouldn't have sent out a fairy type first, especially not a fairy poison type. Oh, this is gonna freaking suck when I send out Articuno. Draco Meteor. Seriously, dude? Yeah, you deserve that harshly fell special attack. Get out here, Dora Ludon. Uh, Dragon. Dragon. Ju forget how to say it. Let's Earth Power again. I'm hoping that it doesn't attack. What I was going to say, I was hoping that it wasn't going to use a dragon move, because I would have switched over to being fairy type. Noivern! Hmm. Switch. No. Keep it going. The less switching I do, the better. Moonblast. It might use sky attack or something. See, I... I really put Ursa Luna into this team thinking that it was going to have to take on Dragon type moves. But the more I think about it, there's a lot of other moves that all these Pokemon could use other than the Dragon type moves. For example. So, the heck should I do now? I think we should move fast. Jump out. Go on out there, please. Sword of Ruin. Weaken the defense of all surrounding Pokemon. Good. High school crash. Bye, Norivarn. That's it. I knew you could do it, Chien Pao. Dragonite. Definitely stick with it. I can't act like since I'm doing so well now that this is just going to be a complete and total success because I did really well against Hassel until the last Pokemon. And then everything I had was just too slow to knock it out. It kept one-shotting everything I had and I couldn't do anything. So, Axorus. Axorus did a number on us too. Mold Breaker. I had this feeling that that might neutralize the defense lowering of Jim Pao. You missed! 
Ugh. Attack bell. No. Please still kill it anyway. Yes, thank you. Shingen Pal putting in work. Yeah, Ferris Luna had already put in work. Bax Caliber. Keep current Pokemon, actually. A painting isn't finished until the final brushstroke. Let's complete our work together. Yeah, Baxcalibur is the one that did a number on me. Actually, Haxorus, I think, did a number on me. And then Baxcalibur did. Yeah, high school crash. It is time to don the crown of dragons. Let your color blot out all else. All right, yeah, so show me what it do. Switching over to uh, dragon typing yet again. See, if you stayed as you were, I would have had to go with a different move. But you didn't, so I didn't. Hi, you flinched. Thank you, Chien Pao, for basically sweeping hassle. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So good. I beat you. Then you have to dip into everybody else. No Primarina, no Articuno, no Pheasantipity. Well, Pheasantipity was out for the start. The Mighty Dragon has been felt. And no Al Creamy either. Chien Pao and Ursaluna put in all the work, especially Chien Pao. When I faced you at the Pokemon League, your strength was a work in progress. You still held potential that you had yet to, that had yet to be fully realized. But now, has become so, so unshakable. You, you've gone so far. I, I, I just can't. <laughs> uh, you came up with the move to tears emote by watching Hassel. I hope you continue your path with a sense of freedom and of humility. All right, cool. Now I just got to invite everybody and talk to them, don't I? All right, let's do it. So this is the club room where the Academy's most skilled trainers gather. Thank you for your kind invitation, Champion MC. It's an honor to be here. All right. Oh, she's over there talking to Drayden. I'm pleased to meet you properly. Drayton, progeny of the long line of dragon type users, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on, pretty sure I never mentioned that to you. Ha, I beg your pardon. But I am curious, what do you see yourself doing in the future, Drayden? Wait, didn't they meet uh, back in the, not in the club room, the classroom? when we were supposed to be going to get Terrapagos. I doubt I'm the guy you want to ask about future stuff. All I really care about is enjoying the here and now. So if you're scouting out new league members, you may want to bark up another tree. You see through my intentions, apparently. I suppose your free-spirited nature is part of what makes you so strong. And you want to go sit down. Hey, Gita. Unfortunately, I do not have much time. Let us put it to good to uh, put it to good use together. Thank you for coming. Busy or not, refusing an invitation from you was out of the question, Champion MC. Do not worry too much, though. I had business with the Unova Pokemon League, as well as some matters to address with Director Serrano. This is also an excellent opportunity to recruit new young talent to come to Paldea. With all that in mind, your invitation actually came at quite the opportune moment. Ah, uh, by the way, Miss Briar informed me that your presence was invaluable for our expedition to the Area Zero Underdepths. This club room is a little too public to discuss the matter here, but please give me the details later. 
Would I actually give her the details later? Anyway, can we battle? If you have a moment, would you care to battle me, Champion MC? Sure, if you got time. Wonderful. Let us make our way over to the Academy's entrance then. And the battle is on! Challenged by top champion Gita. Gamora. All right, how about we hit it with the IV cudgel? And bye bye, Gilmora. Freaking toxic debris. What's the way that you get rid of that stuff? It's not rapid spin, right? Send out Dragapults. Yes, I do want to switch. And it's a little risky, but I'm going to switch to Primarina. I could have all switched to Urshifu. Yeah, now we're about to be poisoned. There goes our shiny Primarina that's about to be poisoned. So you will be faster, but can you handle the Moonblast? It cannot handle the Moonblast. Oh, baby! What you sending out next, huh? Yes, we were hurt by poisoning. Avalu. Let's switch over to... Yeah. I like this for our matchup. And we won't be poisoned because we're off the ground. If it was Stealth Rock, though, we would probably lose half our health. Look at Avalu looking all the way up at us. Sacred Fire. Ha Just over half its health. Dang. It really held on there. So what's it about to do now? Avalanche? That doesn't do much to us. And you're hurt by burn. Are you okay? You know what? I don't care. Sacred fire. Bye-bye, Avaluke. Uh, S. Pathra? All right, how about we... Yeah, this is the only option, really. Urshifu, go! Could have sent this out on Dragapult, but, you know. So if you were to use Toxic Debris, do Stealth Rock, and do Spikes, would you be just hitting everybody with three different things as soon as they come out into battle? Or does, like, one overwrite another? Because it seems like it'd be very overpowered if you could do all of them. Dazzling Gleam! Are you fucking kidding me? You move faster and you one-shot us? Um, how do I want to go about this then? How about... I don't know how I want to go about this. It doing that just threw a whole wrench in my plans. How do we want to do this? Moonblast can lower special attack. Or do we want to... Moonblast. Oh, protect. Oh, look at you. Protecting yourself. How dare you? Wasting a turn. You know you're going to have to face the music at some point. Oh, wait, this act, that joke actually makes sense for Primarina a lot. You're just trying to lower my HP with the poisoning first, weren't you? Lumina crash. Ah, I, I hold on. You know what? That doesn't matter to me. Primarina's probably not making out of this turn. But your special attack fell. That's all I really wanted to do. Yep, there goes Primarina.
All right. Ho oh, oh, go. Exert that pressure and not get poisoned. I want to try terrorizing or terrorizing and just using fire. I mean, a crash, not going to do too much, but it will lower our special defense. Yeah, I saw it coming. Terror Blast. Good hit there by Ho Ho. -Oh. We're busting out Chestnut. We are not switching. We're going to keep this going, Terror Blast again. I kind of wish I had a flying move on Ho oh, oh, right now. That would have done a lot of damage. Although, oh, that should have beat you. Freaking Leech Seed now. It's not actually going to help you that much, but. Health sapped by Leech Seed. Uh, that actually got you back a lot, didn't it? Spiky Shield. Um, you know, like that. Look at you wasting another turn. For obvious reasons. Okay, you, you can't use it again. You're not allowed. Once you use it once and it successfully works for you, you can't use it again until you go through another turn. That's just how all those protection moves work. Yeah, jerk. All right, it's about to send out King Gambit. Keep current Pokemon. Ha! <laughs> it's not checkmate just yet, my friend. Who said it was? You're gonna tear slides it to something else. But that doesn't mean that I don't have to do something else. Become the light that shines on all who reach the pinnacle, King Gambit. How's King Gambit's speed? Like, actually, how is King Gambit's speed? It's actually rather slow. I just looked it up. Speed is only at a 50. Which I feel like the Sharps speed is a lot faster than that because I think it was made just to field move fast. Huh, bye ho oh Made to be fast and strong. Actually, no. It's the B-sharp speed is at a 7. Alright, so the best way to handle this is either one of you could do it. Iron Thorns, you go. Well, I didn't even bother checking who's faster if Iron Thorns and Rotom. I actually kind of want to know. Let's do a quick little check. Who's faster? 174 or 184? So basically, if Iron Thorns can't get it done, I'm kind of screwed. Thunder Punch. Iron Thorns got it done. Happy to have, on, have you on the team, Iron Thorns. Happy to have you. My King Gambit is cooler because it's blue. And we defeated top champion Gita. Yes. May this light shine forever. Magnificent as always, I see you've continued to hone your skills. That settles it for me. I no longer have any doubts about my decision. There's something I very much wish for you to have. I received the elite gloves from Gita. I hope you think carefully about why I chose to give you those. Because I am the new champion? Is that why? Wait, why did my Pokedex update? What did my Pokedex need to be updated after that battle? Was there something on our team that I didn't see before? Pretty sure I saw all of it before. 
Maybe the Dragapult? Is something I hadn't seen before? Or the Avaluk? What, what did she not have the first time we battled her? Like, in the Pokemon League. Whatever. Actually, I'm not really sure I should continue doing this as an episode. I think that should be it. I just wanted to get to the final battle with the final trainer that you can invite. Which, that was Gita. I mean, I could go through all the other stuff with all the other coaches being invited and them talking. But, that's really the point of that. Yeah. I think I'll just end it here. We did our two rematches and we did our final coach battle that needs to be done. So, yeah. That'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and until next time in a different series or next time a Pokemon series comes out if you only watch me for Pokemon. Deuces. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. You wrote just get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, million man marching. Sparta mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.